I think if I wait for the Leafs to do something interesting, I may never make a video again, so uh, here's one. Hello, it's been a long time since we've spoken on camera anyway. Thank you very much for tweeting at me and sending me comments on Facebook and commenting on the Curvy Curveball video on YouTube. Thank you very much for the kind words. Here's what I want to talk about. Um, I love you. That's going to be a gif on Tumblr now, isn't it? All right, a while ago I wrote a thing that I posted on my website that you guys rock, and it's true. I like you so much, love you so much. Like, no, I love you so much. You're the reason I'm able to do videos and all this crazy Twitterness and whatever. And I want to thank you by sending you hockey cards just for free because why not? People sent me their name and their mailing info, and a lot of letters with cards got mailed out to people, and they got them and enjoyed them. Then I went to Scotland and was like, oh, oh keep those things in order it'll be okay and then other stuff happened and then the summer and then, and now i lost track of who i've sent cards to and there's a lot of people sending me messages like bro where's my cards and to make matters worse i've had some technical difficulties with my facebook page this past week and i can't seem to read your messages i can post stuff but i can't read private messages so here's what we'll do last time i think i made a bit of a mistake saying hey Message me this way, message me on Twitter, do it on Facebook, private message on Tumblr, it doesn't matter. Let's put it all in one place this time. Send me a private message on YouTube, okay? Private message on YouTube. Oh, but what if I don't have an account and it Private message on YouTube. Don't have an account? Join the rest of the world and make one. And if you have to make an account, that means you're not subscribed to me yet, and that hurts my feelings. So number one, send me a private message on YouTube. Number two... You have to send me three things. I need your full name, your mailing address, and the cards you would like. I can't tell you how many people were like, Hi, my name is Mike. I have a cadre card. Thanks! So what you're expecting me to do is put cards in an envelope, go to the post office, and go to Mike, please. Your full name, your mailing address, and the cards you would like. Number three, there are restrictions on the cards you can get. Uh, I'm not going to give away any of the crazy stuff. I'm saving those for things throughout the offseason if the Leafs ever do anything or if something interesting happens or during the season for LFRs. I'm going to be sending out what are called common cards. They're just your basic run-of-the-mill card. There's a James Van Riemsdyk one. Pretty sure that's the only JVR I have, so don't everyone ask me for it. I'm going to be sending you a maximum of three cards because there's got to be some cards for everyone. And you also gotta understand that there are limits to the amount of cards I have uh, with regards to the players. For example, so many people asked for Jonathan Taves that I, th I think I ran out. I may still have some. I got a thousand million Jordan Eberle requests. I actually have never owned a single Jordan Eberle card, just luck of the draw. So it's really that simple if you want me to just bah, send you cards. No strings attached just because I like you. I got the postage and everything in here. I got a roll. Here, wait. I got a roll. I got a roll of stamps. I'll mail anywhere in the world, by the way. I already shipped some stuff to Kazakhstan. So again, send me a private message on YouTube. Steve Dangle, all one word. How else are you watching this video? Private message on YouTube. Your name, your mailing address, and the cards you would like. And it's a maximum of three cards. Send me like a list of five guys. If I don't have guys number one and two or whatever, I can go to three, four, five. And again, no crazy jersey cards or stick cards or autograph cards or rookie cards. Just commons like this. If you've already sent me a request and I haven't sent you something yet, there's a chance I may be able to read it on one of the platforms. But I've actually just lost track. Please, I apologize. Just send it to this one spot so they're all in one spot and I will get you them eventually. One last thing I want to say, and I'm going to be covering up the cards with some sort of paper so you can't see through the envelope because there's a terrible, just pisses me off story that happened. When I sent out cards, for the most part, I got tweets that were like, thanks so much for the card, Steve, and it's a picture of the card and like the letter I sent them and all this stuff. One girl tweets me with, uh, I got an empty envelope that was opened. Her name is Chelsea. I've met her two or three different times at Leafs games. I know she's a die-hard Leafs fan, and one of her requests was Darcy Tucker. The only Darcy Tucker card I had was a signed Darcy Tucker card. I went and met him at the zoo, the Toronto Zoo, a few years ago. I got it signed, and I thought, you know what? She'll appreciate it a lot more. Here you go. Friggin' Clark Kent at the post office with x-ray vision, I guess, saw it 
and friggin' stole it. So I want to make this right for Chelsea, but I got no Tucker stuff left, and I want to see if you guys have some ideas. How can we hook up Chelsea? Justice! Peace. Forget the cards, can I just be in your videos again?